We've been spending some time talking about Ernest Hemingway this morning, and you'll be surprised to know that he was not a smoker, so he didn't smoke cigars. That's, of course, surprising because the tradition of making and enjoying cigars has been passed down from generation to generation here in Key West. One of the favorite places to buy those cigars is the Key West Cigar Club and Smoke Shop, which is located on Duval Street. I'm joined with one of the owners of that place right now. John, thank you for joining me today on the show. Thanks for having me. All right, John, how long have you guys been in business for? Uh, we started uh, in, in 2009. 2009. Have you been involved from the beginning? Since the beginning. Okay. Now, there are a variety of cigar stops around Key West. What makes you guys different from all the others? Uh, basically, our selection, uh, the, the simple fact that our cigars are kept in humidors, mm -hmm. kept proper, uh, not out in the sun and the weather and it's a true traditional cigar shop a true traditional cigar shop and you guys are located on Duval Street we're running right a 300 block of Duval it's 335 Duval uh, mm -hmm. in the Wendy's Plaza okay now I don't know too much about cigars okay so you need to fill me in a little bit this morning it's no, and maybe our viewers don't know either. I'm hoping that I'm not the only one who doesn't know about cigars. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are very knowledgeable. Where does the tobacco in the cigars come from, John? Um, in the United States, since uh, the early 60s when the embargo was put in place against Cuba, uh, they have taken the seed from Cuba mm -hmm. and they grow the tobacco in Nicaragua, Dominican, and Honduras. Okay. Those are our three major grow countries. Okay, so that's where it comes from. And now why can't we sell Cubans? Because we have an embargo. Oh, okay. uh, in 1963, they put an embargo against Cuba. Okay, okay, so that's why it, there's simple. a ban on that. There's a ban on that. Okay, now tell me about the different wrappers. Our viewers can see some cigars behind us. There's always different colors. There are, there are. There's a uh, Maduro, a Habano, and a Connecticut are your three basic everyday cigars. Mm -hmm. um, the Maduro is the dark leaf, more rich in flavor. Uh, the Connecticut is a shade grown, so it's mm -hmm. going to be lighter and brighter. Okay. Now, what about your people who come into the store and they have questions about cigars? What's the question you hear all the time from customers? My, the number one <laughs> question is, do you have any Cubans? <laughs> That's the number one. Okay, uh, what's the number two question? <laughs> <laughs> well, their answer is, if you're looking for Cubans, you better start swimming. So that's <laughs> one of our uh, our signs and our T-shirts. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's what am I going to smoke? Mm -hmm. You know, because you know, there to find my shop and to find me an average cigar guy will need some help and some information. Mm -hmm. So he comes in and he wants to know. They want to try different things. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the beauty of a cigar shop versus ordering from the internet. Uh, you actually have people you could meet. You know, my, my store is built up of 50% locals and 50% mm -hmm. tourists. And at any given day, you never know who you're going to run into sitting mm -hmm. on the couch smoking a cigar in my shop. Right, right. So from um, past mayors to... Uh, you just don't know. You don't you know. know. You have Race such car a car drivers. You, you don't know who's going to be in my store. That's wonderful. And now, what do you start people out with who've never smoked cigars before, John? Um, we have a, a basic house rolled cigar, which mm -hmm. is probably our number one seller. It's a Nicaraguan Dominican blend in a Connecticut wrapper. Um, that it's it's a really light, easy, mild smoke, mm -hmm. and uh, that's our number one ship cigar, and it's our number one selling cigar. Okay. Are you surprised to know that Ernest Hemingway didn't smoke? It uh. Yeah, it w I was a little shocked when I read that, but uh, it, I mean, he occasionally held a pipe for photo ops, but he did not smoke cigars. Okay. What's your favorite, John? Uh, probably the John Drew Liga Pravada. What is it called? A Liga Pravada. Okay. It's a T52 wrapper. It's very hard to get. There's a limited amount of stores in the, in the country that sell it. We are one of the, the stores that sell it. Okay, great. Well, thank you for sharing all no this information. No I problem. feel like I know more about cigars, John. Now, if I were to come into your store, what would you give me? I would probably give you my house rolled mm -hmm. or um, Davidoff Zeno 6 or uh, Perdomo or uh, Fuente, Hem Hemingway. Okay. Of all, the, of all name of a cigar, the Hemingway mm -hmm. series is a very light, easy wrapper. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be coming to get that soon, okay? And hopefully we'll everybody can visit John at the Key West Cigar Club and Smoke Shop, which is located on Duval Street. Your hours, John? Uh, we open from 10 till 10. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember the last time I closed before midnight. Uh, so the store is pretty much open until... 
Whenever. You're done partying. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for sharing all no of this problem. with me thank this you. morning. That's going to do it for us today, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone.